All right, so I had a bunch of music playing in the background, so I have to voice this over. What we have here is a PL-171 and a PL-174 code. And you guys know those are lean codes. And when you have both banks that are lean, you got a vacuum line or something somewhere that's sucking air, that's unmetered air. I'm looking in the back of the engine right here at any of the vacuum lines, kind of grabbing, feeling for any soft spots or like as I'm running my hands around. Start to make my way over towards the booster and stuff. I don't see anything. Just as I start to pull away, I catch this little line dangling from the check valve at the booster. What is this? I pull the line. I'm like, oh, there's a vacuum line that's supposed to be attached to something. And there's a plastic nipple broke off in it. Well, it can only go so far, so let's stretch it out and see how far it can go. It's obviously within this vicinity. Oh, wait a second. It goes to the purge valve housing, and it's a vacuum-assisted purge valve. So, I've got to take off the strut tower brace. Uh, then there's a metal bracket that attaches to your cruise control module. This rubber hose on the front that has no big shoulder on it, that goes in the, to the front nipple right at the purge valve housing. And then there's a bigger one in the back that has a rubber collar. It's a little thicker collar. It goes to the back um, of that right there. And then there's two 10 mils. And then I realized afterwards, oh, wait, you don't have to take those 10 mils off. You can just take those 13 millimeters right there at the top of the housing off. And you can just slide the whole bracket assembly out. So that's exactly what I did here. I took the electrical connector off. I used the flat blade screwdriver push down in the back. And then I used a push you know like a clip tool push it off slid that off of there and then i get to uh the top of the strut tower brace right here and you can see as i am explaining the situation per valve assembly vacuum assisted that there's two 13 millimeters right at the top of this housing that actually come off and you slide the whole entire assembly out of it and then when you buy the new one you actually get the whole entire bracket and everything with it so here i explained 13 millimeter uh, pull it out of there and it was a couple 13 millimeters for the cruise control module as well so it's strut tower brace was 13s the cruise control module was 13 millimeter and the purge valve assembly here there's the broken little nipple that came off of it that goes into that tube and the way this is routed is it goes under the master cylinder and then goes under the master cylinder and it comes back up on the driver's side or the outer side of the master cylinder and then it just kind of plugged right into that nipple so what I'll do is I'll actually replace this vacuum line and I'm going to replace the purge valve assembly that's uh, creating this vacuum leak see how it comes up under there and I'll shoot you a picture of the purge valve and what it looks like on parts key real quick so you guys can see what it looks like this is just part one guys